Hello everyone, this is Indra, and welcome to my cosplay tutorial for my Lulu costume. Uh, let's just r jump right into it, and let's start top to bottom. Uh, I'd like to say that the wig was actually created by my friend Allison Tabitha, uh, so look her up, she's awesome. Uh, let's jump to the jewelry, which I made using uh, pieces that I found at Joanne Fabrics, and what I did is I painted them to try to match the artwork and I used acrylic paint and I did several layers of it until I thought that it was completely covered and what I did is I used clear nail polish to smooth out all of the bumps and you can see here the difference between the left and the right left one being the one with the nail polish to show you the effect that it uh, creates and I did that with the whole jewelry and for the hair sticks I actually used paint brushes because I thought that it had really good tapered uh, look so all I did was just a mix of beads uh, ribbon and I painted what I thought would be more uh, appropriate but really is not super super accurate but close to what I wanted next part is the uh, fur piece which is like a sort of like a shawl and I just put it over my head and when I wear it I, I pin it down to make sure that it doesn't uh, move around but what I did is I actually used yarn and I cut pieces to the size of the fur pile that I wanted and I turned them into sort of tassels and what I did is I just brushed them out using a comb and straightened it with a um, hair straightener and then I just attached them all to a long cord that was uh, the size of what I wanted and then I layered it to long fur fur pieces like fake fur that I had just painted so it just went right on top. For the corset, I actually bought the corset from Fredericks and what I did is I just added a bias tape to it and I added, added a modesty panel to the back that way it had the closure that I wanted. If you want to, you can do the same and just buy boning. For the arm pieces, it's very simple shape and I added an elastic at the top that way it would just sit without no problem. So for the skirt, same thing, self-lined, I used pleather and I tried to create the shape first of what I wanted and then I started doing all of the lace. I bought the lace at Joann's and I painted it first with a white spray paint. Then I went over all of the uh, other parts with black acrylic so I could get the an, a more accurate look and then I cut out all the pieces and then pasted them all actually I sewed them all uh, to a similar look how I made the belt part is I made this shape and I used a heavy duck cloth and I made sure it was all hemmed and ready and then I attached all the belts and how I attached the belts is I actually sewed them on and I added holes to the ends of the uh, to the belts as you can see here I actually burned them so that I could actually sew them onto the dot cloth and then uh, I either glued them to each other or sewed them down uh, and then I sewed it all to the skirt that I had made and that is pretty much it and I pretty simple it looks more complicated than what it is thank you guys so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed this and i hope that you look forward to more videos and tutorials thank you bye